Should you live in Mesa? Do you want to live in Mesa? If you ask people in the greater Phoenix metro area what they think of Mesa, you're gonna get a variety of responses. I know a lot of people will say Mesa is like the armpit of the East Valley. <laughs> and then you have other people who love Mesa. And we also see so many people moving to this part of Phoenix. It's growing considerably, particularly on the East side. So what's the attraction? Why are people coming here? What's the appeal? And then on the other hand, why are people so against Mesa? What don't they like about it? Okay, here's the short answer. So Mesa is the biggest suburb in Phoenix Metro. It's huge. And then it's also comprised of a half million people. So there are so many subsections in Mesa that vary significantly. You have really old homes, you have new homes, you have retirement communities, you have some kind of rundown areas. So it just varies significantly. So if you're in the area that doesn't match your vibe or match your values or what you're looking for, you're probably gonna be unhappy there. But if you're in the community that matches what you want, then it's absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna take you into different areas of Mesa and we're just gonna talk about the differences, the pluses and minuses for each of these areas. So I'm Courtney, I'm a realtor from Real Broker and if you guys are finding any of this helpful today, please like and subscribe. It does help me so much in growing my channel. So let's dive in. The first area we're gonna look at is East Mark, and this is on the southeast area of Mesa. So we're seeing a lot of new homes, shopping centers, businesses, hospitals. So along Elliott Road, we have what they call the Tech Corridor, which has brought in a lot of people into this area of Mesa. So there's a lot of different data centers and then chip plants that we're seeing come to this area. A big company is the Meta Data Center or Facebook, Apple, Google. If you look a little bit further south on the map, we also have the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport. So this is a smaller airport. It has grown considerably in the past few years, and they're projecting that it's gonna significantly grow in the next five to seven years. I know they're planning by 2030 that they're going to be accommodating about 10 million passengers annually. So it's definitely a much smaller airport than the Phoenix Skyway Airport. If you're looking for an international flight, you wanna go to Skyway. But there are a good amount of flights that you can take from Gateway. It does take people to 47 different cities in the United States, and it's so easy to get in and out of the airport. So Eastmark is a giant master plans community. It's actually ranked one of the top master plan communities in the United States. You can find single family homes there, condos, apartments. There's even a 55 plus community there. If you're looking for a newer build in Mesa, this is one of the best places that you're gonna find a newer build. Mark is very family oriented. There are several parks. There's a skate park, a playground. They have a little farm nestled inside this community. They also have several events that are held there regularly. I'll link the website for Eastmark below too so you can check it out. I've also seen a lot of new shopping centers, grocery stores come across this area and I know there are plans for for more higher end shopping as well. One note about Eastmark, if you are planning on commuting to Phoenix, know that it is gonna take you some time to get in there. You're pretty far on the outside of town, um, so just take that into consideration. If you are planning on commuting to Phoenix, there are areas in Mesa that I'm gonna talk about in a little bit that may be more convenient for you. Another really cool new amenity in Eastmark is the Legacy Sports Complex. So this is a giant area full of several different courts. They have basketball courts, beach volleyball, they even have cornhole. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. So if you're new to Eastmark and you're looking to meet people, definitely check out some of the club sports they have here. Okay, so we talked about Eastmark. Now we're gonna talk more about downtown area and the area along the 60 corridor. This area has generally older homes, um, actually slightly north of Main Street. There's a lot of historic neighborhoods and some of those homes are actually built before Mesa was even a city. This is actually one of my favorite neighborhoods in the East Valley. The homes are just so cute. There's more character to them. Now, some of them are still pretty run down, but there's a lot of them that have been flipped and they're 
just absolutely beautiful. Definitely a little bit different of a vibe than a lot of the other areas of East Valley. Not all the homes are this old. A lot of them we've seen were built in like the 60s, 70s. If you are considering this area, you'll definitely wanna take a look at crimegrade.org. So you'll have some neighborhoods where you've seen some homes flipped and then, you know, next door, maybe a few houses down, you have a pretty rundown house, a house that maybe should have been renovated 10, 20 years ago. And I will say like a lot of these neighborhoods change block by block. So you'll really wanna take a look and see if you're okay and feel comfortable living in some of these neighborhoods. So I'm a runner and usually how I gauge my safety meter is if I feel comfortable running early in the morning or late at night. And I'll be completely honest, I lived in this general region and there was definitely some areas I would not feel comfortable running by myself. During the day, you're probably fine, but in the morning and late at night, uh, it might be questionable. <laughs> now, either as a renter or a buyer, you might be able to find an older home that is a little bit cheaper than some of the other areas that we're looking at today. I would say the exception is the more the historic district. Those homes can get pretty pricey. Now, there are some more 55 plus communities in this area. I would say you're gonna find more of them on towards the east side, towards that 60 and 202. One example is Leisure World is right there. And you'll find some that have mobile homes and then you'll find others that are more um, single family type homes. I do wanna talk about downtown or Main Street. So this area is definitely up and coming. We're seeing a lot of restaurants, shopping, breweries, coffee shops. Um, this has changed quite a bit in the past handful of years. It is the best area for food in the East Valley. Honestly, I should probably do a video just talking about the food in this region. If you're interested in a video, comment below. I want to know. You have Republica Empanadas. You have to check out Mekong Plaza. It is a great Asian supermarket, but there's several restaurants in this strip mall. Eat your way through the strip mall. All the food there is absolutely fantastic. And of course, I have to talk about Backyard Taco. So this is actually a chain through Gilbert and Mesa area, but it started in this area of Mesa. So it's a family owned business and they started back in 2005, just kind of grilling out in their backyard and cooking for friends and family. And they've just grown significantly. And it's for good reason. The tacos are super good. This is actually the first place I ate when I relocated to Mesa. So you'll talk to anyone in this region and you're only gonna hear hear good things about Backyard Taco, so check it out. Another great thing about this part of Mesa is you actually have the light rail that comes down through Main Street. So this is actually as far east as the light rail goes. It does end here, but it is a very convenient way if, let's say you're a student at ASU, very convenient to hop on that light rail and go to ASU. Also, if you're flying out of our main airport here in Phoenix, this will take you to the airport as well. And it's just very convenient. You don't have to worry about parking or anything like that. I will say overall though, if you're living in Mesa or the East Valley, or honestly, Phoenix Metro, it's very difficult to get around without a car. So just prepare for that. There are also a lot of bike lanes around Mesa but it gets hot. You aren't gonna to wanna to bike in the summer. And to be frank, not a lot of people do bike around here. So as a result of that, a lot of cars aren't always looking for cyclists. So just keep that in mind if you are planning on biking around here. As far as other things to do in this region of Mesa, you do have the Cubs Stadium. If you're a music lover like myself, you have to check out the Mesa Amphitheater. I'm actually really surprised people don't talk about this place more often. It's an outdoor venue, grass seating, but it's fairly small, so it has this more intimate feel to it. And every seat is a great seat there. There's not a bad seat. And the tickets are pretty cheap. I don't know how long they'll say cheap, but currently you can usually find a ticket for $30, $40. And we do have some fairly big name artists coming to this area. So please, if you are a music lover, check out this venue. It really is kind of a hidden gem in the East Valley. So now we're gonna move up further north along the 202. So if you are an outdoor lover, if you like hiking, mountain biking, or trail running, you have so much right at your door in this area. 
Now, generally the homes in this area um, were built in the 90s, 2000s. You will find some pockets of newer developments kind of scattered throughout, um, particularly when you're on the outside of the 202, you'll see some newer developments. So there's some beautiful homes when you get a little bit further outside of the 202, closer to the mountains. And some of them are pretty swanky. You have some beautiful million dollar plus homes in these gated communities. And the views are incredible of the Superstition Mountains. And if you're outdoorsy, like I said, you have to get out there Usury Mountain Regional Park is a fantastic area to explore and it's right in Mesa, uh, particularly in the spring and fall. It is absolutely gorgeous. The spring we had incredible wildflowers throughout this area. And then going a little bit further east, you have the Superstition Springs. You have to check out Lost Dutchman State Park. This is one of the best areas, in my opinion, in the Phoenix metro area. And then you have Flatiron there, which is a staple hike of Phoenix, you gotta check it out. It is a bit of a scramble. Now, if you're not comfortable with the scramble, there are other trails along Lost Dutchman that are much more accessible. There's some campgrounds there as well, and it's so gorgeous. And if you live in this area of Mesa, I mean, it's 10 minutes away. It's prime location. Another plus about this area of Mesa is that you're right on the 202, which will take you into Phoenix. So if you are commuting to Phoenix, one of the best places to be is on the north side of Mesa along the 202. Now, if you're on the 60 and you're getting further east, I will tell you the 60 to the 101 or the 10, there can be quite a bit of traffic there. It can get a little bit more congested. Now, another thing I want to note I've said this in other videos, but if you are commuting, you really want to consider how far away you are from freeway access. Because if you're, let's say, four blocks from a major highway, it can add, you know, 10, 15, even 20 minutes to your commute. So definitely take that into consideration. When I relocated here from Colorado, we actually moved to Mesa. And I'll be completely honest with you guys, I hated it. And the reason I really didn't like Mesa is because we didn't do a lot of research before. We just found a location that was convenient and moved there. And we were in an area that was kind of bordering, not a nice part of Mesa. And then on the other side was a lot of 55 plus communities and it was August. So these 55 plus communities were mostly vacant. So it was just kind of a weird energy. It was hot out. But the longer that I've lived here and I've learned different neighborhoods, I really, really love Mesa. Um, I currently live in Gilbert, but we are planning on moving in a year or two. And Mesa is definitely an area I'm keeping my eye on. You know, Mesa is a little bit harder to navigate compared to some of the bordering cities like Gilbert or Chandler. There's just so much variety. So you definitely want to do your research if you're planning on moving to Mesa. And if you're relocating, I would highly recommend coming down here, drive around, particularly in the evenings, in the weekends when people are off work, just so you can kind of get a feel of these different neighborhoods. So much more about Mesa that I just can't capture in this video. So if you have questions, please reach out. I really want to talk about this stuff. So if you want to know about schools, if you want to know about price ranges in certain neighborhoods, food, anything, reach out. You can call, you can text, email, whatever is easiest for you. I would love to connect with you and help you with any questions you have. It can be hard relocating. I've done it twice. I know some of the fears that can come with moving to a new area. So if there's any way that I can make your relocation process easier and more comfortable for you, please reach out. I'm here to help. Thank you so much for your time. And if you don't mind, please subscribe. Like I mentioned before, it does help me tremendously. And if there are other specific things you want to know about Phoenix in general, Mesa in general, let me know. I would love to make more videos or share more information. You guys have a fantastic day.